Hey everyone, I'm John with IREAT and today I'm going to show you how to use your Read It Scholar together with the Read It software to scan documents. So there's a few different ways you want to do it as well as a few tricks that you can do to make a scanning a much more easy and much more efficient. And I'll just show you the different ways you can scan and a few tips and tricks as well. So the first thing I want to show you is the Scholar is one of the very few that can actually do distance view OCR. So back in the back here I've taped up a newspaper back there so we had something to scan at a distance and I have it focused here on my screen my camera pointed at it so let's go ahead and capture that first so I'm going to move over here to my camera icon on my toolbar and that's my capture button I could also press the enter key on the keyboard as well and that would capture too that's the keyboard shortcut for it so let's go ahead and click on that Capturing. there's a nice shutter noise that lets you know that snapped the picture and then it's going to begin its recognition process. So during its recognition process, it does a couple different things. It does page straightening, and it also does the OCR process. And then when it's done, your document will begin to read to you, like this. Continued from page on. Hot pepper eggs, among others. In Chinese culture, if the dishes become low. All right, so from here, we could make it large print, high contrast, digitize the text, export it to a different type of file, all kinds of things. So once you capture it, you can do pretty much anything you want. So that's distance view capture. Let's switch over and we'll capture something underneath the camera here. So I just have a textbook that I have open. So I'm going to turn my camera. Well, actually, I'm going to switch back to my camera mode first. Switch back to my live camera. And then I'm going to turn my camera down and point it at my textbook here. There we go. I'm going to zoom out just a hair. That looks pretty good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and capture this. Same thing, click on the camera icon, or you could press the enter key on your keyboard. Capture it. So it captures that. It's going to take a moment. It's going to recognize it, and then begin reading this to us as well. Now, if you watch on screen here, you can also see the page straightening Where happen. There you go, it's straightened out. Table 7.6 idly SES possible using Magnuson's home scan service, scan track trial, and repeat. Time. Oh, backslash ER. All right, there we go. Okay, so those are your two different types of scanning. Essentially, you can scan things underneath here or you can scan things at a distance. But when you're talking about something like a textbook where you have it laid out and you're scanning two pages at once, uh, you might want to break these pages up or you might want to be able to capture multiple images or multiple scans at one time as well. And this can do both. So what we're going to do is go up here to our recognition menu recognition. and turn on split book pages. So what that's going to do is when it takes one single image of these two pages, it's actually going to break it in half where the page splits, and then it will have page one over here and page two over here. That way your page numbering is correct. And then the second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to the edit menu, and rather than doing a single page capture, I'm gonna do a multi-page capture. And to do that, you can press shift plus enter. That's your keyboard shortcut for that. I'm gonna go ahead and start the multi-page capture. Multiple capture enabled. So let's capture page one. Turn page. And it says turn the page, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Caption page two. Turn page. Tells me to turn the page again. Caption page three. Turn page. Tells me to turn the page again. There we go. We'll do four as the last one. All right, so we, we've captured four pages, but you could do this with a chapter, even a whole book if you wanted to. And when you're done, you press escape. Capture disabled. And then it finishes up your capture. And then it begins to read to you from the first page that you captured. From there, you can use these arrow keys up here to navigate through your document and through your pages. So that's how you capture, that's how you multi-capture, and that's how you split pages if you want to split up the pages in your document. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.